With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So the question is consider the following compounds, phenol, orthochlorophenol, metachlorophenol, parachlorophenol. So you have to place these compounds in decreasing order of acidity. Right. So here we have phenol, then we have orthochlorophenol, then we have metachlorophenol where chloro is at the meta position and then we have parachlorophenol right where chloro is at the para position. Now, in order to tell the order of acidity, it is going to lose H plus, right? So, H plus will be lost from here. It is going to form benzene ring and O negative, right? Similarly, the next one is going to uh, form O negative along with Cl on the ortho position. And the third one is going to form O negative and Cl at the meta position. And similarly, the last one is going to have O negative and Cl at the para position, right? So, this is what we have in general. So, in order to tell the uh, order of acidity, we need to understand the stability of these uh, ions that we, uh, of these uh, uh, compounds that we have here. Right. So, when we have an electron withdrawing group, it is going to increase the electron. It is going to increase the acidity. So, this is first, second, third and fourth compounds that we have. In the first compound, there is no group attached, so we can't really tell about it. In the second one, there is an electron withdrawing group chlorine, which shows a minus I effect, right? And it also shows a plus M effect because it has lone pair of electrons and it can donate through that and it can be involved in resonance, right? And due to the electron donating effect, it is going to destabilize this negative ion, right? So it is going to destabilize this negative ion because of the plus M effect. In the third one, we have chlorine. And here, the chloro group, which is attached, shows minus I effect only. Right. It shows minus I effect only and no plus M effect. It does have lone pair of electrons to donate, but those lone pair are not involved in resonance. So, therefore, it shows only minus I effect, which is the electron withdrawing effect. Right. Now, in the fourth one, we have chlorine at the para position. Now, this shows a minus I effect and also a plus M effect because the lone pairs here are involved in conjugation. They are involved in resonance, right? So, therefore, what do we see? More is the electron withdrawing effect, more will be the acidic strength or more will be the acidity, right? So, what do we have here? Now, the second one that we have has minus I as well as plus M, but third has only minus I effect. It has only electron withdrawing effect. So, therefore, this is going to be the most stable, right? This is going to be the most stable. So, what we will be having is that the third is going to have the maximum uh, stability, maximum acidity, okay? Now, because it has only the electron withdrawing effect, there's no electron donating effect or plus M effect that is taking part here. Then we will be having second, right? Because here we have plus M effect, but electron withdrawing effect is also there and minus I effect is more pronounced, right? So, therefore, then we will be having second one because of the electron withdrawing group Cl on at the ortho position. Then fourth, because again an electron withdrawing group, but it is at a distance, right? As compared to the ortho one, that is why it has less stability as compared to the second one, right? And then in the end, we are going to have the first one right and then we are going to have the first one because it has no electron withdrawing effect attached to it right therefore the correct answer is this order right or you can write it as three two four one right that's the correct answer for the question for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today